Hey everyone, it's Missy Nature Games Duck on here, and today is Hour of Code Day 2. So I'm going to be doing something I'm sure a lot of you actually have done, which is made with Google's Made with Code. Create your own emoji, but I thought it would be really fun. Um, and a little bit of personal stuff came up today, so I needed to, to do something a little bit light. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I explained what Hour of Code and CSI Week is in the last video, so we'll be linking the video to where you can check that out. So let's go ahead and start. So what we're going to make, dream it, be it. We're going to create our own unique emoji and personalize it with accessories. We're going to use the bro Blockly programming language to add a character to a virtual workspace and then positioning my choice of eyes, lips, and clothing to make my own unique emoji. Yeah, let's get started. Let's just start, drag the emoji block. So this is the stuff that's inside the emoji and this is the character. So I have to pick a character. So this is Olivia, which is me with black hair. I, I, sorry, I don't know, I don't know what's the name. Emma, Rebecca, Lily. Taylor, Mia, Valentina, Natalie, Marlena, and is that a, no Martina? I'm sorry, and Antonia. None of these look like me, and I don't believe any of them look like my characters either. That's fun. Um, let's just use Natalie because she looks like similar to one of my characters, I suppose. Uh. Select a favorite option so we can use any of these. Then drag and snap the number blocks into the new value. Yeah. <laughs> Change the X from 50, this is the X, to 70. Uh, now it's all the way over there. That's fun. Fun time. Let's not do that. But much better. There we go. And we can change the Y value too. I'm going to move them up a little bit. Nope, there we go. Cool. Let's see. Let's do this one. I have to move this slightly because it's tall. These are there. There we go. Better. Now for a mouth. Put the values in. Then you can change them. And this is super simple. It's like just um. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it's just um block coding, which is done in languages like Scratch and stuff like that. So it's simple, everyone can do it. You just kind of drag blocks around and you create your own emoji. Now this is actually probably going to take a really long time for me because I'm like, I really, whoa. I really like making characters. Beanie! Yes. Beanie. That doesn't look like a beanie. Oh yeah, and this is the um, a currently holiday themed one. Whoops. So we're doing a holiday themed create your own emoji, which is fun. So it has like antlers and beanies and Santa hats and stuff. So yeah, tools. I have a candle and a candy cookie. I want a cookie. I like cookies. Oh, glasses. That's probably that's a tool. I mean, yeah, I used to see. I have glasses. I'm gonna need Oh my god, cookie. Glasses. Yeah, that's more like me. I don't have long hair. Uh, I'm trying to grow my hair out though, so I suppose I'd be it. Clothing. Space suit. Business suit. Lab coat. Oh, that's definitely me. I love lab coats. I wear lab coats even when I'm not, like, even when what I'm doing has nothing to do with a lab coat. Fun fact. I love lab coats. They just give you, like, such a fancy I'm doing work. Aesthetic, even like I am fine playing Overwatch instead of being productive, which I have done several times today. Um, yeah, lab coat. Let's see. Now I can see what all of them look like. Overall, chef apron, doctor, rock star jacket. I wish I had that jacket. Business suit. That actually looks something like something I'd wear. How do you? Santa coat, holiday lights. <gasps> Stranger Things. Bam. Yes. Stranger Things. Yes. Stranger Things values and yeah so that's creating an emoji it took like four minutes um i'll probably make it interesting i'll probably make another couple ones because it takes it's really short but we learned how to change the position of an object in a workspace by changing its x and y values increasing the x value made the object move to the right increasing the y value made the object move down which makes something else they have other projects too which is really good um, they only have a couple that I could that are really easy to find. I'm sure they have more. I'm gonna use my snipping tool. Take a screenshot. Yeah. Um. Oh yes, 
so good to read this. Me. There we go. Okay. So now, let's make another one. Uh, I don't know, is there any fictional character? Whoa. Is there any, like, fictional character I can make this like? Let's see. Let's go up. There we go. Oh, there, there are instructions that I kind of skipped. Yeah, there's instructions there. Sorry about kind of skipping them. Uh, background character. But there's a background that I'm going to watch? Next character. Let's see, who should I make? Uh, I can't think of any characters. <laughs> Let's make... I don't know. Emma, Becca, Lily, Taylor, Nia. She looks really little thought she's just not like Let's do Olivia this time. That look that's me. I have crazy eyes. I can crazy see all the time. Oh, weirdo TN Okay. Great. Good. Change I I did. I changed it, see. Yeah, I saw what happened, suppose. Experimenting with the y value to experiment. Experimenting with these values. Look at that. Whoa. So it's very interesting if you change it to 70. And it's like, oh, if you change it to 7 too. 50 is a nice midpoint for us. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Y value could be like, I don't know. 2. 80. 80. <gasps> Turbo Vicky! Good idea. I'm making Turbo Vicky. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Turbo Vicky. Yeah, Turbo Vicky. Turbo Vicky. This is not Turbo Vicky. There. There's Turbo Vicky right there. Okay, we're making Turbo Vicky. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys know, have like no idea who Turbo Vicky is. Um, I have to refresh it. But yeah, Turbo Vicky is the most excellent thing is my polygon, and polygon is lovely, you should all watch polygon. This is, I guess, the closest to Turbo Vicky we have. Do we have any other ponytail people? Like, black ponytails? Is that a thing? Um... Yeah, Olivia... No. Okay, this is gonna be, I guess, how we base Turbo Vicky. Turbo Vicky is going to have normal eyes, but they're gonna be up there. Do they have noses? No. So the eyes actually have to be down there. <laughs> okay, let's move the, light. the eyes down. I'm going to about 60. No. 55. Yeah, that's good. And then... He has, like... Making trouble with the game. Neutral. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Jeremy Vicky's mouth. Well, I probably because I have like eight thousand things open because I'm smart. Yeah, let's do like fifty here. I mean, like that's me all the time. Five hundred lips. Yeah, good. Turbo Vicky. This isn't a good, a good one. This isn't a good Turbo Vicky. She's missing her. Her face can't be smaller. Okay, make your face particularly small. Or you can give her glasses. So. That works. Well, yeah, you can put a cookie on her face. And a candy cane and stuff, that's fun. Test tube. Laptop. I wish. My laptop's broken, by the way. That's context to this. It's really laggy, and I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. There we go. And there's Turbo Vicky. Fortunately, I can't make things smaller, but this is, this is Turbo Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's actually it. It's really simple. Super easy to get started coding with block coding. You can just do so much. So fun. Um, I use. I started using this Scratch. Sorry, that project was shared. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm logged in. I started using Scratch for block coding, and then um, you can, this is actually a really great starting point, I wish this existed when I started coding, because it's super simple, you can just change 
values and make something really cool. And it actually teaches the basics of X and Y values, which is super cool. I highly recommend it. If you want to get into coding, but the one I did yesterday seems a little bit too complicated, then you should definitely try this one because it's super simple, super easy, um, and anyone can do it. And that's why it's featured. It was featured on like Girl Coding Day or whatever I forgot what it was called. Um, Girl Coding Day getting girls in the coding, I don't remember what the day it was called, but it was featured because it's easy and it's a really good starting point. So yeah, definitely check this one out. If you want to do any other RF code projects, there'll be a link in the doobly-doo to where you can check out a lot of them, um, as well as there'll be a link in the doobly-doo to where you can check out this one. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!